the next study that we'll go through is on diabetes. Now, I, I told you earlier that my background was in diabetes. My, I lectured at Oklahoma State University. I was an adjunct faculty member at Oklahoma State University, St. Petersburg College, talking about diabetes and the effects on the body. My greatest desire was not just to keep people with their toes and feet, but was to help their whole body in preventing diabetes, period. Now, here is a study showing supplementation of hydrogen-rich water improves lipid and glucose metabolism in type 2 diabetes mellitus and IGT, or impaired glucose tolerance. So imagine for a minute, if we can take someone with diabetes, and I told you earlier in the US, 10 years ago, we had 20 to 30% of the population having diabetes. This is crazy. This, this, this is not good for any medicine system to have 30% of your population with a disease. It, it will tax your entire system. And, and we, can, we can see that throughout the whole society, the costs to manage 20 or 30% of the population with diabetes is significant. Here, this is saying supplementation with hydrogen-rich water can improve lipid and glucose metabolism. Now, in this study, not only was diabetes affected, but LDL, or in other words, cholesterol, was reduced by 15.5%. Oxidized LDL, free fatty acids, superoxide dismutase, what's called solid activity in the body, adiponectin, all these kind of wonderful things in the body were reduced by about 15.5%. Now, isn't that amazing that simply hydrogen can get into the body and reduce cholesterol levels? That's a significant thing, right? We know that cholesterol levels are high, and why are cholesterol levels high? Anyone know why cholesterol gets high in the body? Sugar and carbs. So sugar consumption and carbohydrate consumption increases oxidants in the body and the body responds by putting cholesterol into the veins. Why? Because of inflammation. Sugar and carbs cause inflammation in the blood and in the tissues. And so the vessels and veins that are holding the blood get little tiny cracks and little tiny weak points. And so cholesterol is put on those veins to protect them from bursting. Just like if we put a hole in that wall, we got to use speckle, right, to patch it. We have to patch the hole and then texture it and paint over it so you can't tell that we put a hole in the wall. Oxidation and inflammation weaken, our cell, weaken the veins in our body and so cholesterol is that patch that our bodies use. So the fact that hydrogen water lowered cholesterol by 15.5% told us what was it really doing? Lowering inflammation, right? If cholesterol levels were reduced, then we are reducing inflammation in the body and the way the body deals with sugar and inflammation or oxidation. And so that's one of the most beautiful parts of this study is understanding how hydrogen can help with leptin sensitivity and other things that are the, what's going on with this. In this study, not only did 80% of the individuals in the study normalize the oral glucose tolerance test, so imagine people drinking 900 ml of water, either placebo water or the hydrogen water, within an eight-week study. That's, this was a double-blind placebo-controlled human trial. Within eight weeks, 80% of the individuals with impaired glucose tolerance were normalized in this study. So by an oral glucose tolerance test, they were able to show that their blood sugars were normalized in an eight-week study. Now, I've seen them within a few days, typically. They did an eight-week study. I'm sure they were normalized far into the study. But imagine for a minute, anyone with diabetes drinking water, which is a very simple thing to do, right? We're supposed to do that anyways. But having water that's clean and having water with hydrogen in it, being able to actually change the sugar levels in their blood is so significant and so you can imagine me this is why this is my favorite study all those years ago going wait a minute holy cow this is what I've been looking for a way to help people not just keep their feet but actually help their entire body so it's very very special for me when when we found this this study was done in 2008 so right around the same time as the other study that was talking about selective antioxidant nature and that was 
when I was right in the heart of trying to figure out what was going on with all of the hydrogen.